Hello, amazing art friends. For this lesson, we are going to be creating a fantastical tree house. And in order to make that, we're going to be using some of the elements of art and principles of design. The elements of art that we're gonna be using are form and space. We talked about form a couple weeks ago when we drew our box. So remember, form is a three-dimensional shape. So like a cube, a prism, a pyramid, and things like that. For space, there's lots of parts of space, but specifically for this project, we're gonna be talking about perspective with space. So perspective is the way things look. So our treehouse is gonna be above us, so we're gonna be talking about the difference in perspective for our treehouse. The principle of design we're going to be using is proportion. Proportion is kind of a tricky one and it shows size relationships. So in order for things to be have correct proportions, they, you have to compare the size, like I can compare the size of my head to the size of my neck. If my neck was really skinny, that wouldn't look right, it wouldn't be proportionate. So you need to be comparing size relationships to create proportion. I'm going to show you how to do all of these things to create our tree house. Let's get started. Alright guys, so to start our fantastical tree house, we have a step-by-step -step on how to draw the form for our tree house. Notice it's a little bit different from our box from a couple weeks ago. Here, in our last one, this part was the opening but we're talking about perspective as well. And our tree house is going to be up ahead. So we're looking down below. So this bottom part is actually the bottom of the house. So we're gonna draw the bottom of the house and we're gonna be talking about angles and we're creating parallelograms. And then we are going to create our house using perspective and form. So you're gonna need a sharp pencil with an eraser uh, or an extra eraser lying around. What we're gonna do first is we're just gonna practice drawing this form and then we're going to make it really big and add a tree or something to hold up our tree house. So to start, our step one is we have to draw that parallelogram and we have to make sure that we match our angles. So I'm going to draw an angle up and then I'm gonna match that same angle on the other side as best as I can. Go slow and take your time. Then I have to make sure my two angles come to a point. So I'm going to draw an imaginary line and make sure my angles match in the middle. Okay, does that one look like that one? Pretty close. And I gotta check on this side. Does that one look like that one? Pretty close. And match them a little bit better. The hardest part is getting your angles to match, but it's okay if it's not exactly perfect. Right now we're practicing, so don't worry. Then we're gonna make three lines coming up. The one in the middle is gonna be the tallest. Then on the sides, we have two shorter ones coming straight up. Make sure the ones on the sides are the same height. Then we're going to create the roof of the house. So to do that, I'm going to connect these lines. Oh, gotta make sure these two angles match. And then I can also do it on this side. It doesn't say to yet, but <clears throat> you can if you want. So, oh, do those two angles match? Looks like it. So now I'm gonna make a diagonal line coming up for the roof and then I have to match it on this side. And then I'll connect the top. This one's a lot longer than the other one, so I'm going to erase it. Connect them at the top. Right, and then our last angle come down does not have a friend to match it, but you're going to just connect these two lines, or two points. All right, go back and clean it up, erase it. All right, and then there's your tree house. Practice doing that a couple of times because down here, you're gonna create a hole and that's where your tree's gonna be coming out of, like this one, okay? 
Uh, so practice doing that a couple of times on your paper and then when you're ready, you feel like you've got it, you're gonna get a new clean sheet of paper, all right? And we're gonna draw that same shape, but big. This tree house is the emphasis, it's the main focus. So we're going to make sure it fills up almost the whole top half. Okay, make sure your paper is vertical, so up and down, because we're gonna create a long tree house. And I'm just gonna repeat those same steps, but I'm going to be doing it on a larger scale. To help you, you might wanna create a little, um, your imaginary lines, for so very lightly, draw your imaginary lines. If you need a ruler, that might be helpful too, if you have one, um, in order to help you match your lines. So now I'm gonna just make my angles lightly matching them as best as I can all right and then I'm done with my imaginary lines so I can erase them so I have the bottom of my tree house and now I'm gonna create the start to add the sides so going straight up and then on the sides as well then connecting those angles. Remember, they have to match. That one doesn't quite match. It's too high up. I'm gonna go adjust it there. That looks better. Then matching the other side. There we go. Then I'm gonna create the roof with two long angles. And then connecting those two. And then my last one, all the way down, okay? My roof looks a little tall, but that is okay. So this one, I would still say you can go even bigger than that, but I sh it should be about the size of your hand, right? So this one is the right size, it's the size of my hand. It's gonna be the emphasis of our design. So I can, what I can do, instead of erasing and restarting, I can make my angles a little bit longer so I'm just going to extend it out so I'm just making it a little bit bigger for me So now it's about the size of my hand. There we go. So I have my tree house ready. And so now once you have your tree house, you're going to add either the tree or you can have anything you want holding it up. You can have maybe like a monster, some hands. You can have a food holding it up. It's a fantastical tree house. You can have whatever you want. Um, if you're gonna add a tree, we're gonna add a little hole. So an oval down at the bottom here. And then coming out of the oval is going to be your tree. And our tree is overlapping, so I'm gonna erase the extra, what would be behind the tree, and I can add all these different branches coming out. however you want. Make it look interesting. Make it bigger down there. Make this one coming all the way. Do some overlapping. So like here, I have the tree house going in front of the branches back here, but on this side, the branches are coming and covering up a little bit of the tree house. And notice here, my tree house goes off the page. That's okay, whatever you want. You could, like I said, you could draw a food item, whatever you would like. Then you're gonna add some sort of steps. And because it's getting further and further away from us, some, what happens is called foreshortening. So things are larger in the front and as they get farther away, they get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So go ahead and add some sort of steps or something to get to your tree house. All right, next week we're gonna add lots of details and textures and things to create this fantastical treehouse. 
Happy creating!